Everyone's heard of the Smart 6 Infinix phone and you've seen the Hot 25G, but now we've got the Smart 7. Here it is here. This is the Smart 7. Now, I'm going to go through some of the features. So it's 6.6 .6 inches big. So it's the same as like an iPhone Pro Max. It's got a 500 milliamp battery. And the, if there's anything to go by with the other two, it lasts ages, like days. Um, it's got fingerprint and face recognition built into this as well. Um, it's 4G. It's not 5G, just to kind of clear that up. So let's get it open and have... Oh, I look. Okie dokie. I will compare it to the other two as well. I've got the other two here. So we can have a look. So this is it here. I've got the blue one. I'm going to turn my camera around so you can have a proper in-depth look. Okay, well, here it is here. Super massive storage. Uh, that is slightly questionable, but you can extend the memory on it. So there is the phone up close. It's blue. As you can see, it's got a nice little design on the back. It's flat. It's a bit like an iPhone. So far, it's lovely. Nice big cameras. Now, this is very similar to the Hot 20. Now, the nice thing about this is it is dual SIM and also has a micro USB. I'm just going to open that up. You get two SIM cards and also micro USB, so you can ex uh, micro SIM card, sorry. Um, so you can basically extend the memory on that if you so wish. I've got the other two here. So this is the six, and then this is the 20 in here. If I can, there you go. So there's the 20. It comes with a case. So that's it there. And then this is the six, so you can compare. So the six cameras are like this. This is the seven. So obviously it's got better cameras on, as you can see, very similar in size. This is the 20. So very similar cameras to the 20. This is the new, si uh, new seven. It's nice so far. Right, let's get it turned on. While they're turning on, uh, as you can see, oh, there you go, there's the seven on there. Six and the 20, which should be on. There we go. The phone's just setting up. I have to say, if it's anything to go by the 6 or the 20, it's going to be cracking. Now, depending on your budget and depending on whether you want 5G or not, people were buying either or. This phone comes in, I believe, at 80 quid. There are some discounts every now and again, but it's 79.99. This one was about 70 and this one is about 130. So it's still a great deal. I'm just going to wait for it to set up. But so far, it does feel lovely in the hand. It is very nice. So let's see how it performs. I'm going to download some apps, give it a good test run and see how we get on. OK, so they're all set up. This is the six. This is the old one, as you can see here. It does can be a little bit laggy sometimes. But what do you expect for, you know, a 60 quid phone? This is the seven and this is the 20. So this is the 20. Again, a lot smoother. I have turned the brightness all the way up so you can see. And this is the seven. I actually think the screen is much nicer. There you go. Scrolling through. Let's have a little go back here scroll through there to be fair it's not bad right let's open some stuff and and see how it works so we've got youtube music again that's the youtube music on this one uh that's the 20 there we go so that one opens quite quickly obviously this is brand new so let's pause that one let's just open something random just play a short swipe up It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's have a look. This, hey, this one is smoother. This so, is the cake that I made for my left. I mean, you can't go wrong for 80 quid, people. Let's try the camera out. I think that's probably the most important thing. So I'm going to open the camera up. It is nice in the hand. I actually prefer it. I prefer it to this one. So camera's open. Let's have a look. Uh, that's in HDR. I'm going to let me show you. So it's got a thing called AI camera. So let's have a little look. Scroll around here. As you can see, take a photo, ignore the mess. There we go. You can zoom in times two, like so. So this is the video. It's got 1080p, I believe, at the top. So have a look. What can you change it to? 720. So it goes up to, it's not 4K. You can zoom in by two. Let's see if it focuses. Ooh. And then this is one. Let's press play. So it's got seven hours and 21 minutes internal storage. This is the case it comes with. It is like a flexi case. We're just going to pop it in. To be fair, their cases are pretty nice. It just keeps them nice and secure. Let's pop. Hang on. I'm trying to do this one handed. Bear with me one second. Let's get them in. There we go. In. Nice little protective case. You can buy other ones on, on TikTok. Um, if you want them, but it's nice that it comes with them, fits really nicely. 
So yeah, that, I mean, you can't go wrong really, can you? Um, and also on the bottom, as you can see, it is micro USB and it's also got a headphone jack, which is very handy. Um, and the headphones that come with it are some nice little headphones. Obviously they go in the headphone jack at the bottom. They've got a little speaker on and they're nice, normal little white headphones which is what you get in the box. So I've had a little play with all of them. Uh, sorry, the dog's in the background. So this is the six. The six was great. It was great value for money. The 20 is also amazing. It's fast, it's responsive, it's 5G. It's a lovely phone. The upgraded seven for the money, they've made leaps and bounds on the battery life from what I can tell. And also all of the functionality and how fast it is it was the it was the speed of the other one the six which people didn't like so if you're looking for a phone under 80 quid right a smartphone under 80 pound right they have smashed it out of the park yet again they really have and that's me being honest is it the same as the 20 no the 20 is still much better that being said it is 50 pounds more expensive. So if you want a decent smartphone for you, second phone for your parents or your grandparents or even your kids, the seven are fair play to them. I, how they make them so cheap is beyond me because I just don't get it. And people slate it. People slate the fact that it's a crap phone. I'll be honest, no, it's not an iPhone and it's not a Samsung. It's never claiming to be and it's not gonna be. But if you want a phone under £80, £80, that does the same job, dual SIM, great camera, works apps, you can download Snapchat, TikTok, you can, you know, do all your mobile banking on it, you can take good photos and videos, you can have WhatsApp. If you just want a decent phone for under £80, look no further. And I like the fact that now it comes with a charger, which is a compact one. Fair play to them. I can see why they sell out so quick.